Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Thursday, February the 11th. It's the last week after the Epiphany, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 37, verse 18 to 33, and Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 1 through 10, and 16 through 18. And please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Now listen to God's voice today, and harden not your hearts, as in the desert long ago, when our forebears provoked God. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as at the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The Most High knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. Psalm 37, and please recite it with me. The Most High knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Most High. They shall be like the fat of lambs, consumed by fire, and banished like the smoke. The wicked borrows and does not repay, but the righteous shows mercy and gives. For such as be blessed by God shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed by God shall be cut off. God guards the steps of the good and delights in their way. If they stumble, they shall not fall, for the Most High holds them by the hand. I have been young, but now I am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor their children begging bread. They are ever merciful and lend, and their children are blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and live forevermore. For the Most High loves justice and forgets not the saints. They are preserved forever, but the children of the wicked shall be destroyed. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell there forever. The mouths of the righteous speak wisdom, and their tongues talk of justice. The law of their God is in their hearts, and none of their steps shall slide. The wicked watches the righteous and seeks to slay them. The Most High will not leave them undefended, nor let them be condemned when they are judged. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The Most High knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. A reading from the prophet Habakkuk, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. A prayer of the prophet Habakkuk. According to Shigionoth, O Yahweh, I have heard of your renown, and I stand in awe, O Yahweh, of your work. In our own time revive it, in our own time make it known. In wrath may you remember mercy. God came from Taman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. His glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of his praise. The brightness was like the sun, rays came forth from his hand, where his power lay hidden, before him went pestilence, and plague followed close behind. He stopped and shook the earth, he looked and he made the nations tremble. The eternal mountains were shattered along his ancient pathways. The everlasting hills sank low. I saw the tents of Kushan under affliction. The tent curtains of the land of Midian trembled. Was your wrath against the rivers, O Most High, or your anger against the rivers, or your rage against the sea, when you drove your horses, your chariots, to victory? You brandished your naked bow and sated 
were the arrows at your command. You split the earth with rivers. The mountains saw you and writhed. A torrent of water swept by. The deep gave forth its voice, and the sun raised high its hands. I hear and I tremble within. My lips quiver at the sound. Rottenness enters into my bones, and my steps tremble beneath me. I wait quietly for the day of calamity to come upon the people who attack us. Though the fig tree does not blossom, and no fruit is on the vines, and though the produce of the olive fails, and the fields yield no food, though the flock is cut off from the fold, and there is no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in Yahweh. I will exult in the God of my salvation. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please respond by saying the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness. Let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Guard our steps, dear God, and hold us up if we should stumble. Write your law in our hearts that we may serve truth and justice and live in peace forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.